So first of all, I'm working into the foreground area. And I'm going to use the limey green here. So anything else that I want to be this limey green, I'm going to get that in first. So I'm keeping this quite wet and loose because the idea is that the landscape is that the bird is flying over is uh, just misty and in the distance really below and smaller um, and the focus is going to be on the bird so this is just a, a really uh, a, a backup to the uh, bird illustration to make it um, to anchor it into a place if you want to you could just do the bird as it is um, but this is just for those of you who'd like to put the bird into a landscape. So in this middle section here, I'm going to just dot that grassy texture on uh, just to give a little bit of um, texture to the middle section. Um, this would be the foreground, so you're just getting a little bit more detail as you come into the foreground. None of this is going to be super detailed. This is the first wash. Um, and as ever, I'll say that it, it will dry a lot lighter. So it looks pretty strong when you first put it on and then it really it knocks right back. So I've just got some sort of muddy patches here coming into the, the lower ground. So we've got some grass that's been mown, essentially, some grasses that are standing up. And then we're going into the further distance here um, in a hillside. We're going to get some small trees there on that uh, horizon. Uh, well, it's not horizon, on, on that hillside there. And we're just getting, everything's getting smaller. And then the top section here, that's the stiper stones just sort of peeking over that, that edge there. So everything's getting less detailed as, it, as it's moving away. Um, you know, I'm only really um, being inspired by my photograph. It's not a slavish representation, but I thought it'd be quite nice to have um, the little shapes of the stiper stones sitting there on that uh, on top of that ridge. And this bit here is going to be almost like fields, little field system. It's quite nice to see the lines of trees dividing everything up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just let that dry now and then we'll work on top and add a little bit more depth of colour. <laughs> 